Hello, darling. I am here to give you your two-minute bard guide. Let's go. Chimes. Bard's passive spawns chimes around the map that grant him 24% out of combat movement speed for 20 seconds, 20 experience plus an extra one every minute past the five minute mark, and also restores 12% maximum mana. The temporary out of combat movement speed Bard receives when collecting his chimes can stack up to 10 times, granting him an additional 14% bonus movement speed for each one collected. Meeps. Bard has these cute little meeps that follow him around, empowering his next basic attack. The meeps take eight to four seconds to respawn, and this depends on how many chimes you've collected. Every time Bard collects a chime, he starts to stack his passive, and powering his meep basic attack. At 5 stacks, the attack applies a slow, at 15 stacks, the attack deals area damage in a cone behind the target, and at 35 stacks, the cone's area becomes larger. The numbers on the screen equate to how many chimes are needed to receive more meeps. Every 5 chimes collected also strengthen the damage his meep attack will do. His Q Cosmic Binding is a skill shot stun. If the Q only hits one enemy, the enemy will become slowed. However, if the Q hits two enemies or a piece of the terrain, the targets will be stunned. His W Caretaker Shrine is a stationary hill that can be placed anywhere on the map. Once place, the heal will grant a small amount of health, however, after 5 seconds, the heal upgrades and becomes significantly more powerful. Allies who consume the heal also receive a decaying movement speed bonus for 1.5 seconds. Bard can only have 3 shrines placed on the map at one time and stores 2 charges. If an enemy walks over the shrine, they destroy it. His E Magical Journey creates a portal through terrain that lasts for 10 seconds. Finally, his R Tempered Fate is a protective AoE stasis that freezes and grants invulnerability to those inside its radius. Start with your W first, then Q second and E third. Max your abilities in this order while taking taking points in your R when you can. For runes, you can either go Precision Fleet Footwork Primary with Domination Secondary, or Resolve Guardian Primary with Domination Secondary. Tough matchups for Bard will be Sona, Senna, Pike, and Zyra, whereas easier matchups will be Brand, Yumi, Karma, and Lulu. The items on the left side of the screen are what I'd recommend for an AP Bard, and on the right side of the screen are what I'd recommend for a Tanky Bard. Here are some examples of how to play Bard. The timing on his ultimate is really precise, and you can use this to engage an unsuspecting fight. You can also use your ultimate to protect an ally while you position to help them out. His E can be used to get Bard out of some really bad positions, and placing his W on each lane and in the jungle at the start of the game can really help your team out. I really like Bard because he's a very situational support that can set up easy fights with his R, and his meeps are so bloody adorable. I hope you enjoyed this two-minute guide for Bard the Wandering Caretaker, and please remember to use Oracle Lens.